Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today is an exciting day because today we're learning how to install SETI Astro's suite of scripts, virtually eliminating the learning curve of PixInsight. We're also going to be covering a couple of system requirements and how to find yours. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump in and learn how to install SETI Astro's suite of scripts into PixInsight. Now, in order to install SETI Astro's suite of scripts that I demonstrated in the previous video, um, what you're going to want to do is use the repository link that I'll have in the description of this video. But also, I encourage you, please check out SETI Astro's website, uh, read about those scripts, uh, show him some support as he is doing an amazing job for the Astro community. Uh, I'll have a link to his website in the description of this video as well. When you click that link, that'll bring you to this page right here where you can read about all of the scripts. Now to use the repository link, there is a system requirement, which we'll go over here in just a moment. Um, but what you want to do is either use the repository link if you meet the system requirement uh, I'll have the repository link in the description of uh, this video here or on SETI Astro's website, the page that I'll have you linked to, you'll also see the repository link. So we'll go ahead and grab that and let's go ahead and head into PixInsight. And what you want to make sure of is that your PixInsight is on build number 1605 or later. You do need to be on build 1605 or later in order for the repository link to work standalone. If you're not sure, go to resources about PixInsight and you'll see your build number listed. If you're at 1605 or later, then you're good to move forward. What you'll do is go to resources. You'll go to updates, manage repositories. We'll go ahead and click add and then we'll paste the repository link into the box that you see here. Now, I already have this installed, so we're not going to go ahead and do it again, but what you'll do is click OK, and then you'll go ahead and click OK. You'll see a window pop up searching for the updates, and you'll see um, the repository link that we just pasted in, as well as any other applicable repository updates. You'll go ahead and click OK, and then you'll want to close out of PixInsight where you'll see a window popping up asking if you want to update PixInsight, click yes. You may or may not get a window in the center of your screen that pops up asking if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you get that, go ahead and click yes. PixInsight will go ahead and restart at that point. And from there, you'll see under script, SETI Astro and all of the scripts. Now, let's say that you're not on build 1605 or later. I always recommend use the latest and greatest uh, version of PixInsight. Uh, it is the most supported version. So if there's any issues, then um, you have support for it. And I go over that in my video, um, which goes over the uh, new hardware requirement for PixInsight. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video as well as above. So make sure to check that out as I also go over to make sure that your machine is ready. Now, fortunately, Windows users will not be impacted by the hardware requirement until PixInsight version 1.9. However, if we go into the PixInsight website, we'll go to Community, PixInsight Forum, we'll go to Announcements, Let's scroll down just a little bit. We'll go to 1605 released. And then we want to click on the bottom link here, 1.8.9-2, build 1604. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And what you'll find is that in 1604, Linux and Mac OS users are affected. So make sure that your machine is capable of uh, this requirement as you will need it for build 1605. Now, if you are um, not able to run 1605, you'll need to uh, go ahead and download these individually and install them. Now, heading back into PixInsight, let's go ahead and open up an image. We'll just pick any old image here. And 
what we want to do is go into script, SETI Astro, and you have your signature adder. You have your uh, automatic DBE. You have Blemish Blaster. And you have such an amazing suite of scripts here that um, just make this learning curve so easy. And we're going to be going over these in the upcoming videos. So make sure to stay tuned, show SETI Astro some support, head over to his website, check it out, uh, watch some of his videos. And if you want to support this channel here, make sure to check out that join button. There's lots of perks to joining, such as practice data, Discord server, photo of the month, and early access to videos. And that's not all. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you have any questions? Are you excited to see how easy it is to use SETI Astro scripts? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.